Another week has passed since we have taken a look at the construction progress of Epic Universe. Let's dive into these brand new aerials of all around Epic Universe, courtesy of Bio Reconstruct. Starting off with the most stunning portion of this update, the Portal of Dark Universe has now been unveiled after being hidden behind scaffolding for the last several months. The detail work all around the portal is truly mind-blowing, and it is just a sneak peek for what is to come throughout the rest of the park. At the top of the portal, there is wiring visible telling us that there will be some sort of light feature or electronic theming element at the top of the portal. Behind the portal, you can see the uneven roof peak that mates up with the main structure of the portal. The entrance to the feature ride in Dark Universe has now been covered in scaffolding for theming. There is scaffolding in front of the retaining walls inside the moat as well, indicating that some rock work theming will begin there soon as well. Around the front theming element of Starfall Racers, the scaffolding stays wrapped around neatly around the main frame of the celestial theming element. A few more pieces of that curved framing we first saw in our last update have been installed below the track as well. As guests enduring the most thrilling roller coaster in the park, as they launch through the second launch seen at the number one, they shoot under the final brake run at number two before going into the load station. At the front of the park, the first ring wooden concrete forms have been placed at the entry portal. This half circle form matches the rest of the entry portals found all around the park. It is yet to be seen what will fill in beside next to the central arch, but my guess is that it will be something similar found on either side of the entry arch. The security and admissions area initial roofs have been completed as well as the roofing for a nearby kiosk has been completed. Behind the entry arch, inside the park on the rooftop of one of the entrance buildings, the theming elements we saw on the ground a couple of updates ago have made their way on the roof. As guests enter Epic Universe, they are met with a waterfall feature, as this feature has recently gone vertical. There are also some newly placed concrete forms a little farther up the water feature. In the coming updates, we should start to see the perimeter walls start to form as the base and utility work gets completed. In front of the Atlantic restaurant, sand and rebar has been added since our last update, indicating that concrete should be poured here very soon. Around the main fountain at the back of the park, more grandstand seating is in the process of being formed, seen by the concrete forms being installed. In the Isle of Burke, the first pieces of the deck platform that have been installed on the dock around the lagoon. Around this decking, there is also an uneven edge effect to give another aspect of theming to the How to Train Your Dragon Land. At the back of the park at the Grand Helios Hotel, the thought to be lobby extension on the park side has started. The side closest to the Wizarding World has the first part of the roof going towards Dark Universe. The exterior tiling at Stella Nova and Luna Resorts continues as the first resort is well more than 50% completed with the exterior colorful tiles. Workers have now started wrapping the tiles around the opposite end of the hotel. Probably around the end of the year, we will start to see the tiles start to appear on the second resort as the first resort gets closer to completion. Inside Super Nintendo World and the Mushroom Kingdom, lots of theming continues all throughout the land. There has been a lot of color added to the base of Mount Beanpole. We can safely assume that every update we will see those colorful theming foam elements appear closer to the peak of Mount Beanpole. At Yoshi's Adventure, we can now see some of the ride vehicles are outside covered by tarps, seen at the yellow arrow. Yoshi's Adventure is just the latest ride at Epic Universe to receive ride vehicles as we get closer and closer to ride testing. Peach's Castle has seen a lot of exterior panel work, giving the castle the trademark shape we are used to seeing. Soon, we can assume that there will be color begin to be added to her castle. Behind the telehandler will be the entrance to Toad's Cafe, which we have not seen any exterior work been done recently. We will probably not see very much done until we get closer to opening day when the mushroom cap is added. Behind the Mushroom Kingdom, in Donkey Kong Country, work continues all around the new boom coaster in the land. Seen at the arrow is a piece of transfer track at the base of the lift hill for the maintenance bay. 
At the top, centered near the waterfall, the large character face will be installed here, seen in the renderings. You can see at the base of the waterfall where the water will flow after flowing down the wall towards the splash feature of the coaster. That does it for today's construction update of Epic Universe. Be sure to subscribe for more construction updates as we get closer to the summer of 2025 opening of Epic Universe. This has been Justin from Adventures Away. Until next time, have a great one.